back and move teams to the third screen and then you can see it here yeah even the screen resolution of the windows 11 machine adjust a check mark open as window and then i click on create office.com this is the starting page of microsoft 365 Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to integrate Microsoft 365 into Linux. As a digital marketing professional, I use daily the Office applications from Microsoft. I use Outlook as my email client, Teams as my chat and collaboration system, SharePoint as a file storage, and of course, PowerPoint to create business presentations. All these applications can be installed as native apps on Windows, but I'm a Linux fan. And when I'm working from home, I use mainly the web applications from Microsoft integrated in my customized queue tile window manager running on Arch Linux. Microsoft currently no longer distributes native Office applications for Linux. The last native Office app was Microsoft Teams. But this has now also been discontinued and it is recommended to use Teams as a web app. However, using the Microsoft 365 web apps is not a disadvantage. The quality and stability has improved in the last few months and they have become a real replacement for native apps. Only for PowerPoint uh, and sometimes for Excel, I need the native app. But even for that, I have found a good solution to integrate these applications in Linux. And that is via a virtual machine in which I have installed Windows 11 and then the Office packages on top. Works without any problems. But let me demonstrate my current setup. First, you need a web browser on your Linux system, Microsoft Edge, and Google Chrome are recommended, but it also works fine with Chromium and Brave. I have never used Firefox. That's why I recommend Chromium based browsers. Open office.com. This is the starting page of Microsoft 365. And um, here you can create a free account with a free account. You can use all web based apps and also get a cloud storage without any cost. It's totally free. If you have already an account, you can log in directly. Once you have logged into your account, you will be able to access all of your Microsoft 365 applications, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook. And you can start using them directly in your browser. Just click here, for example, on this icon and you have Outlook here in your web browser. I personally like to install the web apps as Linux apps instead. That gives all applications a more native look and feel. Let me give you a demonstration how you can transform any Microsoft 365 application into a Linux app like experience. Let's start here with Outlook. Click on the icon with the three dots on the upper right side, select more tools and create shortcut. This entry form field pops up and you can give this shortcut a name because it's in that case, my private account, I call it private and I check mark open as window. And then I click on create and you can see that outlook already pops up in an own dedicated window. But let me check if outlook appears also now in my application starter. For that, I close the window, start my application starter, search for roof, uh, search for Outlook, and you see here Outlook private. And now Outlook starts integrated in my window manager. Let's repeat the steps with Microsoft Teams. I close Outlook now. If I want to install Teams as a web application integrated in Linux, I follow the same process. I click on the three dots on more tools and create a shortcut. I call it Teams private, open as window and I click on create. And also here Teams opens in a dedicated window. 
you can repeat all the steps with all Microsoft 365 applications. And by the way, with all other web applications like Google Docs, social media managers, everything that you use on your daily business, uh, you can repeat the steps as well and it will work. And then all of these applications are also integrated into your Linux desktop. What I totally like about Linux tiling window managers is that it makes optimal use of the screen of your monitor. As you have already heard, I'm an absolute Q tile fan. For example, I can place Outlook on the left and Teams on the right side of my monitor and have an optimal overview of my most important communication platforms while working. By the way, you see it here at the bottom, that short notification. You can also integrate um, the web applications into your notification center. Yeah, so you receive a message from Linux if a new email comes in or if you receive a Teams message. And I can also place Teams and OneNote next to each other and can quickly take notes during a team meeting. And if I need to quickly access my terminal, I can do this as well and open here in my case Alacrity and can start here any terminal based applications side by side to the office apps. If you want to uninstall any web applications from your application starter, you have to type Chrome colon slash slash apps and you get here in the middle of the screen an overview of your installed web application. If you want to remove one of them right click remove from chromium you see it here i want to remove outlook private and i click remove and when i try now to find outlook private it's not listed here anymore outlook um, pwa is my business access my business email access but the private account has disappeared as mentioned at the beginning, I use a special integration in Linux for PowerPoint. The native app is currently just a bit more powerful and offers the Excel integration that is important for me, um, which the web app cannot do at the moment. The web app is great for drafting presentations that works very well, but for the finishing touches, I need all the features of the native app. For the integration in Linux, I use therefore a virtual machine based on QEMO and Virtual Manager. And this is how it looks like. You see the desktop of my Windows 11 installation and you can start and use PowerPoint as usual. The nice thing about this set setup is that I can use Teams and PowerPoint or any other application that is already installed on my Linux system side by side. So let's jump to Teams back and move Teams to the third screen. And then you can see it here, yeah? Even the screen resolution of the Windows 11 machine adjusts dynamically. And this is very nice, yeah? So I can switch to another desktop, start an application, for example, Chromium, and can switch back to my Windows 11 um, virtual machine, Teams side by side. So a totally flexible way to define your custom layout that fits to your requirement with help of a tiling window manager. I really like that. And that's it. You have now successfully integrated Microsoft 365 into your Linux system. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you and you now have a better understanding how you can integrate your daily business tools from Microsoft into Linux. Thanks for watching.